praise Master, Master Jesus. Jesus. Praise Master Jesus. God, God is, is a, a good, good God. God. God is awesome God, yes, y'all. And this is Henry. I am Monique. And she is and my wife. That y'all. is my husband. <laughs> so silly. Go ahead, baby. So my yeah. wife had a dream and hit it. Yes, I had a dream about Michelle Obama. First, um, so this is how the dream started. I was in this uh, room, it was full of people, and it was a stage, and uh, I was sitting in the audience, and um, as I was sitting, I realized that Michelle Obama was about to make a speech, and I was just so irritated, I didn't want to listen to anything that she had to say, Um, so I kind of rolled my eyes, I was like, that's how I did it, and so she did her little speech. And I can tell it was something about a women's empowerment type of speech. All I could remember is that she pulled up her shirt and she, I remember having a black bra on. I just, I have to be honest with y'all. That's what I seen. She had this black bra on. She pulled up her shirt so you could see her goodies. And she said, we are women like that. And I was like, what? This is so weird. And even the audience was weird, was weirded out by it as well. Uh, But I was probably a little bit more dramatic than they were. I was like, what in the, you know, I wasn't loud. But I was just like, this is where, what is she doing? You know? And so she got off the stage and then you can tell it was a new group of people that came in. Right. And so as I was sitting, um, because I stayed there as I was sitting, I seen um, Michelle Obama talking to a group of uh, men well, maybe two men. She's talking to two men on my left side. And then on my right side where uh, my mom my mom was sitting close to me and a friend of ours. And uh, my mom and, and a friend was a new group of people that came in as well. So I was recapping. I was retelling my mom, you know, what had transpired um, in this whole meeting thing before they had come. So uh, they were interested and they wanted to listen to it. And I said, listen, Michelle was doing a speech. And she pulled up her shirt and showed her breasts. And um, I opened my purse and I said she was wearing a black bra. I don't know if it was the same black bra, but it was a black bra. And I was giving them the example of what she did. And they were surprised that she did that. They were surprised. And I was like, yeah, I don't know what's going on, you know. And, And it seemed like my mom wanted to make a speech as well. But my mom was like, nah, I, 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 my mama changed her mind because of the actions of what Michelle did. And she was like, nah, I'm good. I'm not going to do that type of job. I'll do something else. And uh, that's how the dream ended. Wow. Yeah. This dream has a lot of strong power in it. And why am I saying this? Because... In this country, America, Mm -hmm. there is some setup that they have already started planting in the spiritual realm to carry up in the physical realm. And they're going to use Michelle Obama as as a a personnel. You know how uh, somebody want to... Uh, a country might want to have a spokesman or oh. a president, or so uh, she's gonna be like the spokesman for women. For for not only for women. Okay. You know they they're gonna want to make her. You know the speech mm-hmm. that she was giving is something that you need to look into. Right. They're gonna make her in the future just to prepare her to be over a lot of things. Wow. A lot of uh, mankind in America. And this, because I at least uh, I remember one time ago I saw something uh, a post that they might want to make her to become a president, and now this dream is confirming a lot of things. And even if she she become a, a president, and what she gonna be doing, people still not gonna be bothered. But the genuine people that like. That will be in that place at that time, at that moment, will be very, very upset with everything. Right. So, in this dream, my wife was able to have discernment, like, what she's doing. Even some people in that audience. But, it was, it, like, my wife was able to be saying something, but those people don't like that. Yeah. But none of them was saying anything. Exactly. So, you see that... Uh, they're going to use her so mightily in order to 
to use the color thing to brainwash a lot of black community. But it's, it, it will be a, a set up mm. plan. So now, if you remember this dream, it transitioned to where another group of people came in, right? Then my mother-in-law was in that dream. And you know that she's a great woman of God. So she, her designment kicked in. Mm -hmm. At that time, God is still going to have a lot of great ministers that their discernment will always kick in to rebuke this evil and to also stand against this evil and denounce, hey, I'm not part of this. I don't know what is going on in, in, our, in the world these days. I don't know. Like uh, some evil people will know that this is evil, this is not acceptable, but they will just shut up. Like, I know. It, now the use is not your business. You know, they just yeah. don't worry about it. Yeah. You know, no. This is very, very uh, 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 dangerous if this happens. But we all need to really st stand strong against this dream. We really do, because, uh, you know, my husband's not saying she's going to be the president or the vice president, but if that's the case, we need to pray against it. Or yes. any other thing that they're trying to make her ahead of her. Anything. Anything. Even um, school, the school, you know, I don't know if they have a, a special person who's over public schools. You know, that too. We don't need her to be ahead of anything. First of all, she's confused about who she is as a person. And I don't want to go there. But she, if you are confused of who you, what, what you were born with, you don't need to be leader over nobody. And you can tell in the dream, opening up your clothes mm -hmm. is, is shaming. Yeah. You know, shaming the people are around you, shaming the country, shaming the world. It just... I know. It, it's just like, when will some people wake up? Some people are woke. When I mean the, the woke I'm talking about is woke and in and, and discernment and you know something ain't right. But there's yeah. some people that really are blind to the fact of uh, gender and race. If she's black, you know, they're automatically going to believe her just because she's black. Or if she's a woman, they're going to automatically believe that because she's a woman. They're going to trust her because of who she is or whatever. Yeah. But we really, really, um, just people wake up and be like, I don't care what race or gender you are. If you're not standing up for righteousness, get out. Yeah, because I, I even saw a post. Somebody posted calling uh, Michelle Obama a woman of God. I was like, wow, I've seen it all. Yeah. It, and I know a lot of people will be calling Oprah a woman of, a woman of God too. Ah. Did, just because they celebrate Christmas, that don't mean to make them so a woman of God. if you call all of them woman of God, then Beyonce, woman of God. Because oh. she's helping some people in Africa. Right. I don't know anymore. Lord God, help us. So, Only God can help us. Yeah, just stand against this. In yes, yes. They're cooking this. They're planting this. It's not going to look good, but let's pray. And I know I'm trying to shut up, but she's such a smooth talker. She's very like, I remember when she first came out, I thought she spoke better than Obama. You know, she's so, she, she's very convincing, but man, we got to look deeper, y'all. Yeah. We got to look deeper yeah. than what someone's saying on the, on the, uh, the, those sweet words. Don't get manipulated appearance. by sweet words. Oh, I mean, appearance, cause even appearance. When a prophet went to anoint David, he, he was brainwashed and overshadowed by the appearance of, of the uh, David's brother. Mm -hmm. So we have to rely on what God is saying and what God is showing at the same time. Amen. Well, listen, if you haven't subscribed to Henry and Money, go ahead and do so. You know why? Because it will automatically make you a cool, cool Christian. Christian. Because cool Christians we hang out over, over here. here. God bless you all. We love you guys. Bye. Bye.